How many customers do you lose at the checkout? 10%? 30? I bet lots more! Merchants lose around 70% of potential customers at the last step of the customer journey. So let's explore 8 optimization ways for Magento 2 checkout and the results you can get. Let's hit the road! Third-party modules overweight the checkout page. Analyze all of used extensions, identify which of ones you need, and delete unnecessary ones. If one of the needed extensions interferes with checkout speed, consider changing it for an alternative from a reliable modules provider. After all, what's the need for such extensions if instead of enchantments they slow Magento 2 checkout down and harm the customer experience? Even a brand new Magento 2 store loads over 300 GS files related to the checkout and totaling around 3 megabytes of data. Advanced JavaScript bundling and content delivery network are two of the possible optimization techniques for static content. Their adoption will help you to reduce the load service and the number of server requests and the size of these requests. And remember, static content optimization should be applied to the whole website, not checkout only. Sometimes website scripts with no direct relation to checkout can impact its performance. If you remove unnecessary scripts, it will speed up the checkout and the whole website in general. Your development team will need to perform with the website code audit to identify all such scripts. You can also get in touch with our team for a free website audit. Just follow the link in the comments section below. Cookies optimization is often overlooked, even though these small files can grow with time and impact the website performance. They are transferred each time a browser reaches the web server for CSS files, images and HTML files. Thus, you will notice a huge drop of speed. Setting up a separate domain for static content is one of the ways cookies optimization. Such a domain is often called cookieless domain. It's used to serve CSS, images, JavaScript and the static content. For pages with multiply file requests, such a server will deliver a significant boost in content loading. You can learn more about this approach in our video about Magento 2 optimization. Check it out! Payment methods procedure and necessary load on, on your service. Do you know which payment gateways are popular in the region you are wearing to operate? After you find the answer, turn off all other methods. This way you will kill two birds in one stone. The page won't interact with a lot of third-party solutions via API, load unnecessary JavaScript codes, images and logos. So checkout become faster. Plus, offering only the popular options will improve the shopping experience for your customers since they will choose the needed payment methods right away. Checkout page speed depends on a number of factors. One of them is the use of price rules that automate discounts. For example, if you offer buy two get one free option, the final price is recounted when customers add new products to their shopping cart. Magento uses all enabled rules to calculate the final price. The more rules you have, the more time it needed for calculations. The process takes even more time when customers add dozens of products to the shopping cart. Make sure you won't don't have any unnecessary price rules to test this checkout optimization approach, try turning some of the price rules off and checking website speed again. It will help you to improve both the speed of the cart and the checkout pages. Magento also provides automatic scheduling for price rules and you better make good use of it. Most importantly, provide one-step checkout. It reduces the weight of the checkout page and improves user experience. As you might know, Magento 2 provides a one-page checkout out of the box. But in fact, this checkout consists of two steps shipping and review, and payment. You can use one-step checkout modules instead. 
For example, the GoMage Light Checkout extensions has built-in optimizations to reduce page load time significantly to improve conversions by 20%. As a result, your customers can provide all the needed information and on a single page. The module allows customers to place orders as guests or create an account and buy as a registered customer. Social logging speeds up the whole process, allowing customers to create accounts in a few clicks. Checkout is the place where the final buying decision is happening. Nothing should distract customers from this moment. Unnecessary blocks and information do the opposite. Make sure that your checkout page only has fields necessary for placing the order and such buttons as place order and review order. Everything else should be deleted from the checkout. As you probably noticed, some of the mentioned optimization techniques can be applied to the whole Magento 2 website. Let me share you a secret. You won't get relevant results in checkout speed without the whole website optimization. Analyzing your website and looking for optimization opportunities is the great place to start. Get in touch with our team for a free store audit and watch the video telling how to speed up websites on Magento 2. What other techniques do you use to decrease the checkout drop-off rate? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more dedicated videos to the website optimization.